The race between Governor Scott Walker and challenger Mary Burke is a tight one. You've seen the ads, heard about the big name endorsements. Now volunteers are hitting the pavement. New tonight at 10, 12 News Max Siegel takes us to one community targeted by both campaigns. So we're in the next block. Shelly and Dan Budney Weber hit the streets of Glendale Sunday. They're pushing their grandson in the stroller and pushing the vote for Mary Burke. You'll put on your refrigerator just to remind you to vote. The, the couple hand. joined several oh, Burke for Governor <laughs> volunteers canvassing Sunday. When we caught up with them, they gave us a quick status report. One person said definitely not voting for, for Mary Burke, one who wasn't sure, and one who definitely is. So we're pretty much split all across the board there. They want a change in leadership and feel Burke is the right person to do it, but the governor supporters are just as passionate. Hi, my name is Adam. I'm a volunteer with the Republican Party of Wisconsin. How are you this afternoon? Good. Governor Walker supporters also spent time in Glendale Sunday, both on the streets and on the phones. Thank you very much for your time. Tom Meyer says he's been calling voters over the last week, asking who they would vote for. I think people recognize now that this election is getting close, that they've made up their mind pretty much. And they're pretty happy with the effort made on the Walker administration. Those leading the way here with the state GOP say this kind of work will be critical in a tight race. The things we do here, the phone calls and the door knocks, the direct contact is going to be the difference on election day. And that's why we put our program up against theirs any day of the week. And today I also asked both sides how they felt about First Lady Michelle Obama campaigning for Mary Burke. She was here last week in Milwaukee and she's going to be in Madison this week. Walker supporters we talked to today, they're not worried about it. Burke supporters say the First Lady's visit can help, but they also feel Burke Tony can stand on her own. Now, Max, what about upcoming debates? When will the two candidates start squaring off? Well, they're going to start squaring off. The first one is set for this coming Friday. It's going to be in Eau Claire. There's another one the following week, I should say, right here in Milwaukee.